Welcome, thanks for joining. My name is Brad Schick and I'm joined by my good friend, Tony Mo Rice. How's it going, Tony? Oh, we're doing good, how you doing, Brad? Good, good. So we are covering the 2021 Gem City Open in Dayton, Ohio. We are playing at Belmont Park. Gotta say big thanks to John Schwan for the continued support and the coverage of the event this year. We have a good foursome. Today we're featuring uh, Matthew Blakely out of Lebanon, Ohio, sponsored by Discraft. Got myself out of Galena, which is just north of Columbus. Adam Ginn out of Belmont, Ohio. And last but not least, Mr. Tony. You're out of Kettering? Kettering, Ohio, that's great. Kettering, Ohio. So I have to give a shout out to the tournament staff, uh, notably John Tyree, Josh Barnhill. Uh, due to COVID this year, we did actually stay in the same foursome this year. So uh, the coverage will be us all weekend, I guess. So it's just gonna be our foursome. So our group is actually starting on hole four. And we are getting started right now. So I'm throwing a sidearm here. This is a, you got all kinds of paths here. Um, left, you can sidearm, backhand, whatever you like. So I think it's about 270, something like that, Tony. Right around 300, I'd say. Yeah. Got Matt here. Looks like a buzz, maybe? Yeah, I think it was a buzz. It was some sort of mid pretty much parked. Yeah, I'm throwing a backhand leopard three here. Just gotta get it high. Looks pretty good. Not bad, do it. I think you've played this hole a couple times. Maybe once or twice. <laughs> and Adam's a predominantly sidearm player mostly, right? You play with Adam quite a bit. Yeah, I think this is a wraith, either that or a destroyer. He throws pretty much all four hands with those discs. <clears throat> so, all pretty close in the circle. This is uh, kind of a must get on the first hole of the tournament. I think you're always a little nervy, but um, it's a good putt maybe not so much by Adam. Very nice start. So how many tournaments have you played this year up to this point, Tom? I think I've played up to this point six events already. Holy moly. Yeah, I gotta sign up while you can. <laughs> <laughs> I have this is my first event of the year, so I was excited to get out. A little, little nervous myself. You still get nervous? Oh yeah, <laughs> without a doubt. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> I just threw a great drive and a horrible putt. I, I think that was nerves. I mean, I didn't feel nervous, but I, I don't know. I don't know what to blame it on. It was really just awful. No commitment whatsoever. It had to be nerves. Yeah, Brad. Did he, did he just nail that in a straddle? He did. Well, I think we'll be looking at a lot of those today. <laughs> so a few uh, birdies and myself with the solo three, unfortunately. So, yeah, 319. I didn't realize it was that far. So good start by everyone but myself. Yeah, we'll build on it. That's all I can say. Big thanks to Hazy Shade for the support on hole four as well. So moving over to hole five. So let's give us give us the rundown on this hole, Tom. Uh, for righties, you're looking for a kind of a turnover here. Matt gets it flat, gets it to turn a little bit, but there's these limbs at the end just that you just gotta down. beat. Yeah. And there's a sneaky lefty line, which I just totally turf fit. <laughs> Did you hit the tree? I can't even see it. No, it, just it actually scooted a little bit in front of the tree. I should be down in a little ditch. Adam with a big chop forehand here. With, I believe this is a destroyer, champion destroyer. Yeah, he got down there pretty good. That's that's not bad at all. I'm throwing a Zeus here. I actually threw this in practice, and I almost parked it, so I was super excited. And then during the round, I mack the first tree. That Pretty much the worst thing you can do on this hole, so... Little slow start. What are you throwing on your upshot here, Brad? That's that's a Buzz OS with the Jawbreaker plastic, and I I have had good success with that. It's pretty grippy, so got myself up there pretty close for a for a drop in, hopefully. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get up and down from here. It's probably about a hundred feet away. This is a soft. They have it listed as a par four. I would say it's, you know, that's very generous. Matt here hit the tree limbs, and he's about sixty feet probably. Oh, it did. Oh, oh. <laughs> it breaks my heart to watch it again. I know. 
It, so, I mean, you can't tell from this angle as much, but I mean, it literally hit the pole as it, soft as you could hit it. Yeah. <laughs> and we knew at that point, I, I remember looking at Tony going, this is going to be a long day because if Matt's going for that on the second hole, I mean, it was like 37 degrees and cold and he's just walking up just, oh, yeah, I'm going for this. Uh, and it's a runaway green. You get yourself in trouble. So he uh, had no fear. And let's not let's not even talk about that putt. <laughs> Terrible again. Looked pretty pure. If you yeah, ask me. I didn't want to hit it too hard and spit out like Matt. <laughs> You're right. Good three. Three won't hurt you on this hole, I don't think. No, but if he'd have got the two there, he'd have definitely been taking strokes on the field. Mm -hmm. So yeah, again, soft par four. Um, I'll take I'll take I'll take the birdie. It didn't feel like a birdie, but we'll we'll call it a birdie. Right. Um you can see there are lots of birdies on on that hole. Big thanks to Animated Disc Golf for the support on the hole five there. And it looks Jason LaRoe got a got an eagle, so nice shot, Jason. I believe Matt's going with a uh, Buzz OS here. Just trying to get up the gap. Would you say this is a must get? Probably the easiest hole? This, yeah, this is definitely a must get. You don't want to mess this hole up. You're good, yeah. brother. It's super short. Multiple ways to get to it. A lot of times they'll play this as a double mando, but this year is pretty, um, you can take your take your pick on which way you want to go. So yeah. what are you going with, putter? I'm throwing a putter here, and JK AVR. Just put it up and let it fade. Man, yeah, that is absolutely pinned. So good. I just love Adam's jacket. I mean, look at that thing. It looks vintage. Yeah, I mean. And yes, Adam is throwing lefty backhand here. He throws lefty backhand, and I believe lefty forehand. Every now and then he'll pull out a righty backhand, so he's got them all. Wow. I didn't even realize that. I think I must have been looking the other way. What are we going here? This is the Buzz OS again, same disc I just threw. It's it's really good for me on that 250 to, you know, or 270 to 200 range. It just really just sticks. And there wasn't a lot of wind out there, but for me, it's just get it out there. and Look like a pretty decent ace around there. Yeah, it's a little bit short, I believe, but I'm still trying to get that putt working. Adam just left it a little short there. As you can see in the background, the flag's blowing a little bit there, mm -hmm. so he's dealing with a little wind. Matt from about 20, 18 to 20, nice putt. Three for three start. It's looking pretty good. With a spit. Yeah, with a spit out. <laughs> just push this putt, thank you. A little high, but she stuck. I just told myself, don't be short and low, and I just, uh, yeah. Just need that first one to go in and, and feel good about it, so. Shaking off some rust. It's It's been a while since you played a tournament. It has, it really has. <laughs> there he goes. Good putt. I told him he's very methodical. Yes, he's been known to fake pump <laughs> and get everybody once or twice in his life. So a few birdies, 178 feet. I didn't realize it was that short. So three, three twos and a three for Adam, unfortunately, uh, just short on that putt. So moving over to hole seven. Oh, first, thanks to Stevie, Stevie D dies for the support on hole six. Big shout out. Um, and you can see the scoring average on the hole, 2.38. So that's, that's pretty low. So what's, what do we got on hole seven? Oh, uh, we got Blakely throwing a buzz OS again. You just want to kind of, uh, he kind of yanked a little bit, but you want to kind of get it on, uh, Forehand for righties, hit it flat, and you want to land on top of the hill. You kind of don't want to crest the hill because then it rolls down to an OB. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that big tree to the right, I when I, I walked it in practice, I always, you know, you don't play this hole all the time. It's kind of that muscle memory. And I'd say, I think if I remember, it's about 60 feet past that big tree. So I was trying to fly fly that tree just coming in and figured if I could just just miss that tree, on a little bit of a of a of a with a little bit of speed, I, I should be there. So that looked really good. Should be right on that edge of the hill. And there is a very steep hill right behind the basket. If you haven't ever seen this course, um, that hill on the backside is comes into play quickly. 
on a couple holes. Sit. Oh, it was a little short. That's the putt that's scary right there. Because, <laughs> yeah, he's looking at a headwind putt here. So he's playing it smart, laying it up, just trying to get his three. That camera angle doesn't do the hill justice. It's, a, it's completely dropped off from the backside. Uh, it looks like Matt's probably fine with his angle. So It's probably, what, a 20, 25-footer right yeah. there? Yeah. Looking at straight death. We'll say it was 40 just to make myself feel good. But, yeah. <laughs> Canned it like you've been canning them all year. It felt, felt really good just to make one. So a nice drive by yourself. Yeah, it was pretty routine. Just a little 15-footer. Felt good. Matt left a little bit on the on the bone here, but shouldn't be too difficult for him. Nice. It was pretty cold, but it started warming up quick. I remember, um, I don't know, at, at tip-off, I feel like it was in the mid-30s. Yeah, I think but, we got close to the 50s. Oh, no. Just a little left side chains there. Could have went either way. It's an unfortunate break. Hole seven, two, two, three, four. Unfortunately for for Adam, so I think that's a good two. I, I mean, it's there. You want to definitely get it, but yeah, I don't think he'd be mad with a with a three there. Yep. Average two point nine four, so right at par. Hole eight, man. This hole has not changed over the years, but it seems to get harder and harder. Those low hanging limbs there. Um, what are you throwing? I know you said you were throwing a mid. Yeah, it's a rock. A pretty straight rock just try to hit it hard and flat and that was absolutely buttered yeah. such a good shot yeah i'm trying to throw a flip up hyzer with something much faster i think the righty you don't have a chance to float it over and have it bring you know bring that hyzer back out so i just tried to throw that zeus really hard uh, came in just a little bit short but give myself a circle's edge putt probably that's the hardest part about this hole is getting that angle right. Because those trees, when you hit them, they just drop straight down. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the miss is usually early and left. And once you come in on that hyzer with a with a righty backhand, it just flare skips pretty hard left. Yeah. But it's a tricky. This is definitely a tricky birdie. I think I, I'd say it's probably not birdied as much as you. It, it seems simple, but I don't know. It just doesn't. It doesn't get birdied as much. I, I feel like. They recently added those railroad ties. I think was a good add. Kind of stops the skip, makes you want to kind of fly it, leaves you about twenty feet, twenty five feet short. So it's, it was a good addition to that hole. Mm -hmm. Probably helps with the erosion as well. Yeah. I'm guessing this is some sort of driver for Adam. I, I'm gonna guess it's his destroyer. The way that it tanks pretty hard. So that'll leave him a putt. Probably just outside circle. Um, maybe closer. Yeah, I think I remember walking. This was about 10 steps. I was like, okay, I got a little circle's edge putt. That was good. A little uphiller. Seems like you found your butt now. Rust is off. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was aggressive. I, I, I mean, I give him credit for nice, aggressive putt. There it is. Matt, right in the heart. That's a great shot for you though. Just a nice slow turnover with that wind. Yeah, I can't. I can't be mad about that. Is that your typical line on that hole, or was the wind just? Yeah, I normally just try to throw a rock. I got got a little extra distance on it, being hyped up that it's a tournament. And, you know, tournament distance is a thing. <laughs> I would agree with that. So hole eight. Yeah, we had a. Uh, looks like. Two, two, three twos and a three for Adam. Tony's starting off super hot. I think five for five, right? I think so. It sounds right. It's pretty good. And and look, the average actually on that hole was 2.38, so that's pretty that's, pretty good. That's kind of surprising to yeah. me. Big thanks to Apostrophe Designs for that sponsorship on that hole. All right. So what do we got? Hole nine. We're shooting back towards that hill. Um, it's probably three... 325, 330, you just want to keep it low like I didn't, but I got extremely lucky right there and fought through the branches. You know, most of the time when you get it up in the air, it's pretty much going to hit that tree like the, this. Oh, right there. You hit that almost every time, so. And that leaves a difficult upshot. Yeah, I wasn't looking forward to that. 
I, I tried try to get it out just over the roof of those houses on the left and just low. Matt was up. Matt pulls the high. flex line, which is a really good shot. He beat that last Ow, tree Matt, that you got to. Put that probably right about circle, which leaves death, another scary putt. Death putt. You want to bet that he goes for it? <laughs> I would. I will not take that bet. Matt Blakely does not lay up. He doesn't know how. It's not in his vocabulary. Adam's got a real tricky putt here too, because this is so touchy. But Ooh. hopefully that stopped. I, I can't think even. It, I think it stayed. Yeah. As you can see, I just laid it up. I wanted nothing to do with nothing that. Nothing to think about there. Nay. Ouch. Yeah, that's not what you want. And he did go OB. Oh, that's right. He did. He hit the hill and rolled all the way down to that cable, which is the out of bounds line. So. Yeah. Rough break for Matt. And I believe uh, my upshot, he missed my upshot. Oh, we're going to Adam first. I was just outside on the right there. So Adam first three. So he's struggling a little bit on the green this morning. Yeah. And this was my upshot, just a little bit short. But from back there, I'll take it. You That's... don't want to go long. I, I watched Matt, you know. That's the smart play. Got in my head a little. <laughs> but you can't be mad at a three here. Three will not hurt you. I'll be interested to see what the scoring average on this hole is. I'm guessing it was four or close to, you know. I bet you three and a half. I bet you there's a couple twos on it. Yeah, maybe. Good three for yourself. No no stress. No. Yeah, 330. You got two threes, a five, and a four. So playing just a little bit over par for us. Only one. Old Alex Evers. Nice. Left or so right it was just over par, uh, 3.19. That's not too bad. Oh, and I sponsored this hole. Yay for me. <laughs> so we got a hole 10. This is uh, this is almost a must get too, Tone. Would you agree? Oh, I would agree. So you just got to throw it up over this hill, and the basket's kind of on the hill. So it kind of leaves for a roll away deep with a scary putt back, or you know, or you could just absolutely park it. Yeah, that big tree right there on the right side of the screen is pretty much the basket line. It's just like three feet right of that from the tee pad in my in my memory. So um, that hill runs away very quickly, as, as Tony said. So that well, probably about aced it. Yeah, that looked right on top. Matt's probably going with his jawbreaker putter of some sort. I forget what he's throwing. I think it's challengers. That looked really good too. And as wide as mine was, I was glad to see it make its way back over once it hit that hill. So looks like our whole group put it really close. Nice too. Looking to be a star frame unless Matt closes his eyes and misses his putt. <laughs> He's closing his eyes. That's that's a fact. For those that don't know, watch Matt putt sometime. He closes his eyes on every single putt. It's really strange. It's probably why he runs it. He can't see it. That's right. So star frame for us. I'm guessing that was probably one of the easier holes on the course today. I agree. Yeah, averaging 2.38. So Nick Long, thanks for the sponsorship on hole 10. Much appreciated. Right. Hole 11. It's a lefty shot. You just want to miss this tree and get down, but you got to push it farther. You can, there's an inside line and an outside line. As you can see, I threw the outside, and Brad shows us the inside. This is the first time I had actually seen this pin placement, too. They, I think it's usually straight or off to the left, so... It was a it was an interesting uh, pin placement. So, got a little bit lucky. I I got a little bit inside of what I wanted. I was trying to push it further after watching Tony. This looks to be perfect. Yep, nice shot. Just a, just a tad bit short. And Matt, I think he was in between shots. He pulled out this roller. He said he parked it in a practice round, which I told him it was a terrible choice. Yeah, there's a lot of roots down there. And then Rocks. I was, yeah, then I was right. He, he didn't throw it very well. So I told you that was a terrible choice. But he said this was a little bit at, at like his peak distance for a sidearm where he's comfortable. So 
sometimes trying a shot in practice and having success is like the worst thing because you're like, well, I did it once, so. I'm, I'm probably 80 out here. Thought, why not? Just give it a bid. And no. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Just happened to go in. I really thought, you know what? I parked the hole and finally I'm going to get a stroke on him. And you go ahead and throw it in. <laughs> that does feel good. Oh, yeah. It's, it's when you know it's it's your day when you're coming were you, out. Were you running it? Were you were you running after it right away? Did you like sometimes when you let it go, you're like that's the line, or did it? I did like a jump. I'm not very ambitious. <laughs> like a one jump to see, and then it was in. So <laughs> here's Adam from about 35 or so. He said, yeah. "Nope, you will not big putt me." Perfect. That's a good putt for him when he's been struggling on the green. Mm -hmm. Now, poor Matt here, he's trying to save for, he's about 30 feet for his par and saves it. Nice job. He's got, he's, I remember saying everybody's parked making birdies and I'm trying to save the par. <laughs> Good putt for Matt, though. That was a great drive, Brad. Yeah, those are the ones I like. I can putt those. No stress. And we have one more hole here in this front nine. Yeah, two twos and a three. One hole, 11. This plays about a three average. Mm -hmm. uh, two, eight, one. Yeah, not bad. And we had three of the five birdies on our card. Thanks to Corey and Chain Antagonist. Follow him. So we're on, what, hole 12 now, right? Yeah. So I think it's 420-some feet. It's a bomb. It is a mash. <laughs> yeah. That low ceiling off the tee, I, I, this is another one I don't, haven't played a lot, so I was kind of in between shots and thought I would try the roller, just trying to miss that big tree, but I pulled it too far to the right, um, and I don't, I don't think I really have the distance to get the roller there with the grass is pretty thick right now. Yeah, a lot of leaves, a lot of branches. My whole thought was a three is not going to kill you on this hole. No. Adam just got chopped right from the get-go by a branch. Was he trying to roll that, you think? No, no, okay. no. He was trying to flex his foot. Okay, hand. okay. I couldn't really tell. Matt's got the power to do this. Flipped it and up flat. Squared it. I think Adam was giving this a soft bid here. Yeah. Wow. Great shot. This is that awkward range where, you know, you don't think you're going to mess this up, but just enough trouble, you got one tree in your way. Yeah. Pat bending doesn't make it any easier. And I was trying to make that, but let's just say I was trying to lay it up. Yeah, yeah, it was just so that. strong. And you're right in that 40-foot range. Yeah. And I thought you made it from the side I was on. So. Yeah, it felt good when it left the hands. It was just a little outside. Nice comebacker. Oh, good. A little 20, 22 footer to yeah. keep it going. Keep the confidence going. And Matt is straddling from three and a half feet. Nice putt, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> so, star par on hole 12. So, that's going to do it for the front nine holes, or the, you know, the first nine holes of this, of this side. Um, again, big thanks to John Schwan and uh, obviously Stupid Tree for sponsoring this hole. Um, your help has helped John make this coverage possible. So shout out to Gary and Ben Krieger as well for getting the birdie. So here's kind of the scoring spread. There's a lot of people right around that five, six, seven under round uh, range. So we'll be interested to see how the, the backside goes. So stay with us. We'll be right back with the backside. Thanks so much.